Good <coughs> morning, Americans. <coughs> this is your favorite alien in Santa Baba here in the morning of Saturday, December 5th, 2020. And here's an editorial answering Mr. Reverend Warnock back on his gripe. Dear Reverend Warnock, you put out a video complaining about Kelly Leffler's taking your videos or your views out of context. And then you bring up your father. Are you disowning your father or something? It sounds like you are. Why would you bring your father, father into a political disagreement here? I read your and looked at your videos and your sermons. And I don't see where you're griping about Kelly Leffler. She is not taking your things out of context. And so, so your dad was in the military. Yay. A lot of people were in the military and a lot of family members didn't like that. The U.S. military, remember in Vietnam? You guys spit on them. And you seem to have that attitude in your views. Then you bring up your father. What are you doing? Disowning your father? If he had hard work... And he taught you how to be right and wrong? He didn't taught you very good, did he? Because you are disowning him. Number one, you did say that God can't take either the military or God. You can't serve both. You did say that. Now, remember on your Bible, Jesus said, Render to Caesar what is his, and render to me what is mine. Remember that? How can you be a reverend and make these accusations like that? Number two, you did host a reception for Fidel Castro. A guy that coming from Panama, I can tell you, was not a good guy. <clears throat> you did... Tell that Reverend Jeremiah Wright is a prophet. Jeremiah Wright is an instigator. He does not know what to be in the pulpit is, what to be a reverend is, and sometimes I don't think you do either. And you got the biggest one in the States, Ebenezer Baptist Church. I sure hope that Mr. Martin Luther King is not going in his grave and saying, oh my God, and going back to the founders of the, uh, the Constitution in this country and saying, Damn, you guys were right. We're going to hell in a handbasket. Because you are taking us that way, Reverend Warnock. And I don't like any of the four players that are running for this office of Senators of Georgia. Neither one of you four know what the hell you're doing or what it is to be a senator. Especially you, John Ossoff, and the other two Republicans. Kelly Leffler is an elite person. So is Purdue. You have factions. Because you think that the African Americans, we get something to get the old. And some things that you say are okay. Like uh, incarceration, yes. You have to find a way of getting rid of incarceration. But opening up the jails and beat our people go is not the way. And how are you going to do with people who break the law? Incarcerations is something that my race, millennia ago, three millennia ago, even my ancestors who were stupid, disallowed incarceration as you see today. We did have incarcerations and we still do have incarcerations, but we don't do it like you guys do here. We have Things, set many things in the home planet and found other home planets that are not being occupied. And the people there, you want to be your way, we'll put you there. We'll give you things to start you and you're on your own. That is incarceration because it'll take centuries for them to get, if they develop some sort of a society there, to get going. We do monitor from time to time, make sure that what they're doing and there are people there that say we want to come back 
That is us. You here, Reverend Warnock, are taking everything and trying to make it your way. You lead a faction. You don't lead a congregation. You lead a faction. And you're not good for the state of Georgia because, like the other three, it's your way or the highway. And that's not what the state of Georgia is about. This is your favorite alien, and boom, moose, baba. Good day.